Hello and welcome back. In this short lecture, we're going to learn about deploying applications with managed Google Play Store. This is uh, as simple as you are trying to deploy applications for Android Enterprise operating system or uh, with the work profiles uh, so that it's going to uh, specific applications which are directly managed from the Google Play Store are uh, fully tested with the Android Enterprise uh, which you are going to uh, deploy the applications. To begin with that, you can go to the Microsoft Intune, later point, go to Client Apps uh, which is here and then Apps and then come back here and click on Add that would actually gives you to create an application type here we would be choosing as the managed uh, Google Play what happens is when you choose here uh, and you need to approve a few of the applications so that they are fully uh, managed you can check out these applications like if I click on approve and I need to wait here for a few seconds before actually it loads that list of applications which are managed by Google Play if you can see here future uh, work apps and different categories are available and these are the most of the enterprise level applications and these might be it's not like a games kind of applications but these are most of them are uh, enterprise level uh, used to some of the applications so you can use for example or maybe uh, Google Calendar or could be Skype for Business I will just take one example here as the Skype for Business and simply uh, click here as a select it's gonna approve uh, and then uh, once it is approved I can uh, check out for the other approval uh, preferences I'm gonna uh, keep these other permissions with the uh, approved uh, or it gonna uh, revoke the required approval permissions also I can do this kind of configuration. Let's also take another application uh, for a reason uh, for example, I can take Dropbox and I'm gonna approve this it's it's gonna take a time and it will give me this kind of you know a notification saying that hey you are gonna grant the uh, permissions for all these like in app purchase identity contacts this is very quite common and once you have ag agreed and you can approve them and then it would also prompt for the permissions uh, similar to the configuration of what we have seen for Skype for business and once you have done uh, the required relevant permissions once you have taken click OK and then here the tick box gets OK once the tick box is OK you are gonna uh, click here for the sync purpose so I'm gonna click on OK and sync uh, that would actually create opposed to the sync actually it's gonna uh, uh, we, we don't have any other option other than just you know close on the top and if I just uh, take it to the left side uh, blade uh, you can see that it's not it uh, populating any other applications there and what I have to do is I have to close there and then I have to do a refresh so let me do a close here um, uh, and then you know uh, simply refresh that would actually uh, show me and I should be able to see here that uh, specific applications uh, for example earlier we did for the sky for business as well as the uh, if you can see the category type you can check it very easily that managed uh, Google Play apps or uh, two of them like sky for business and slack and in a minute we should also see for the Google play uh, which is nothing but the Dropbox so these are the things which we actually applied or you know we approved from the uh, Google Play app uh, or Google Play managed and we all we have to do is we have to assign this a specific thing like uh, go back here and select that specific application for example in this case Dropbox I'm gonna assign the specific application to a required group so if I have already created an, a group for all Dropbox users I could actually assign to that uh, I can simply add group and then click here uh, this must be a required application for example it has to be mandatory then I'm gonna choose as the required and I'm gonna include this specific group in this case um, I've already created a Dropbox specific group with uh, Google Play let me drag and drop here uh, it should be managed uh, Google Play app which is Dropbox so I simply select this group I wanted to apply for here and simply I don't have any exclusion group so I don't want to exclude and simply save that that would actually install uh, the, as a required there could be also an installation or it could be only just to be offered as available so that the users would go back to the portal or the uh, company portal site or the company app uh, portal app and they would uh, install it from there uh, that's how it's gonna work and uh, thank you for watching this